Hey everyone, Tech Steve here, and welcome back to the channel. For all you Sony fans out there, you're probably wondering, I'm on a budget, I want a Sony, should I get the Sony X77L or should I save a little money and get the Lashermall X80K? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you guys the differences and see which one's going to be the best value right now. So let's get into it. First, let's talk about the Sony X77L. This is a black television with a slim wedge stand design. It has direct LED backlights to enhance the contrast ratio, and it has an audio system with 10 watts by two. This is a 4K television with up to 60 frames per second and 240 hertz of motion to smooth out those action scenes. And it has plenty of connectivity with three HDMI inputs, a USB port, ethernet, plus it does have Wi-Fi built in. This TV also has picture modes such as vivid, standard, cinema, gaming, graphics, photos, and you can customize your own settings. And it has a wide mode where you can zoom into some of your older content. This TV does have a little bit larger frame on it. And on the bottom of it, it has the feet. They're a little bit more to the side. And on the center of the TV, you're gonna find that famous Sony logo. The Sony X77L is powered by Google TV. So you have access to everything Google. That's including Chromecast, you have live channels, plus you have a advanced app store where you can go in and download just about anything that you can imagine. The X77L also has built-in screen savers powered by Google where you can add your family photos, plus you can set up different profiles for everyone in your home, and it has 16 gigabytes of built-in memory to store all your applications. In my opinion, this is a great television for your average consumer who wants to watch sporting events as well as movies because it is powered by the X1 processor that they put in the X80K and the Sony X85K. Now, the only thing it doesn't have is the ATSC 3.0 tuner, and it doesn't support Dolby Vision. Next, we're gonna talk about the Sony X80K, and I will tell you that both of these TVs look very similar whenever you look at the picture quality. The biggest difference is that the X80K is available in different types of panels, depending on what size you buy. Some of them are IPS and some of them are VA. As I mentioned earlier, this TV has the X1 processor. It also has Dolby Vision where the X77 does not have it, but we'll get into some picture tests in just a moment just so we can see if these TVs perform the same. Just like the X77L, this TV uses direct backlights for better contrast. And because of that, the bezel is gonna be a little bit thicker on the TV. The feet are a little bit more into the center compared to the X77L, and you're gonna find a Sony logo on the bottom. Now this TV has more connectivity than the X77L. You get four HDMI's instead of three of them, plus there's a RC232 port, so you can connect it to home theater devices, and one unique thing about this TV over the X77L is that this TV will support Kalman automatic software by downloading the Google app and connecting it to your Kalman software for calibration. Plus it has the ATSC 3.0 TV tuner built right in. Overall, when it comes to features, the X80K is identical to the X77L except for two major things. The first thing is since the X80K supports Dolby Vision, whenever the TV's in that mode, you're gonna get a pop-up that states that it's in Dolby Vision Plus there's a few extra movie modes. The second thing is that the X80K, if you press a button on your remote control, you get a basic gaming menu. So if you're a gamer, you get the crosshair and some basic features, and that will come in handy on your favorite games. Now I will tell you that the remote controls look very similar. Only difference is if you look at the remote on the X77L, it has two additional buttons for hotkeys. It includes Crunchyroll and it has YouTube music, which may or may not be important to you, but at least you know it's there on the X77L. Now let's do some picture tests and some people may say that this is not a fair comparison, but when you review TVs, you have to use what you have. And these are the two TVs I have available in the studio. A few things that I wanna point out is that since the X77L is a IPS panel, you're gonna get better viewing angles. Plus you can see that the color reproduction is much greater than the X80K. But if you're the type of person who loves to get those inky black levels, you definitely want to go with a VA panel, which you see on the X80K. But overall, I think both TVs have a great picture, but I prefer the IPS in this particular scenario. The reason why is as we switch over to live content, I can just tell that the grass is much greener. There's all the colors pop more on IPS, but you do lose those black levels. I definitely understand that. But remember, you can take the X80K and do a calibration with that software, and then you can achieve some better color reproduction out of that television. But switching over to movies, maybe I'll get a different opinion because you definitely can see the backlight shining through on this type of footage 
but you can't help but look at those color reproductions. So it's the lesser of two evils. Do you want a TV that's inky and dark or do you want one with better colors? That's something that you have to decide as a consumer. So what do you think, IPS or VA? Now I know it can be confusing because depending on what size you buy on these TVs, you might get one panel or the other. So these reviews could be a little confusing. So I usually go to displayspecifications.com and a lot of times they have the different type of panels on there and I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys want to check it out. But let's take a quick look at some scenes that I recorded for gaming so you can get even a better understanding of how the colors are reproduced. Well, how are you handling your Hava? Okay, I guess. I read your references. You're a good driver. Now I know it's a hard decision because the demos I played with two different panels, but at least you have an idea of how each of them performs. Now in my opinion, I'm going to give the X77L a 7 and I'm going to give the X80K an 8. The main reason why is that the X80K has more features. You get a fourth HDMI input, you have the connectivity for Calumet software, and it has Dolby Vision, the ATSC 3.0 TV tuner, and it's a great TV. So if you was looking to buy one of these TVs, I would say if they're available, go with the X80K. If not, go with the X77L. I'm Tech Steve. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up on this video if I gave you some information that helped you out. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.